Yeah, let's start off with that. <laughs> I saw okay, I saw yeah. Wikipedia's um, explanation, but I just want to make sure that was right. So you can go, you can tell me. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably got it right by now. But um, nobody know my grandma gave me the name before I was born. Um, so there was really no uh, nothing I had to do with it, or no story of me eating tacos, or that's why my my grandma gave me the name. Uh, my government name is kind of harder to say, so people just went with Taco. It was easy, and it, it just kind of stuck and remained kind of that way. Okay. So, I mean, what, did you have it, like, from first all your life, pretty much? I mean, nobody's ever... I had it before I was born, yeah. So okay, okay. I, tell, I always tell the story of how I went to my kindergarten class, and they asked me to, to, to write my name, and I wrote Taco, and they said, no, write your real name, and I had no clue how to... <laughs> how to write it yet because <laughs> i was so used to going by taco the whole time so okay. um that's why that's why i tell you like i never never really went by my real name never nobody really ever called me it so tacos has usually always been my name since the beginning okay kyle mosley hey taco welcome to new orleans man thank you thank you happy to be here good good so why do you believe you are a good fit for the New Orleans Saints defense? Um, I just believe, uh, as in body body size, why a lot of those guys we have the same similar body types as, and I'm six six, two hundred, you know, sixty five pounds. I can move around. I'm athletic. Uh, I played outside linebacker in some system to show you I can do everything an outside linebacker can do. But I also play four three in, so I can do everything a defensive end can do. Also. Um, so the fact I'm versatile, I can stand up, I can get down to three point stands, uh, I can go inside, I can play outside, um, really do a lot of different multiple things. Um, just because I've been asked to do a lot of different things, as in dropping back or rushing the passer. So I'm happy to get you know back in a four three front where it is a chance where I can put my hand in the dirt and rush the passer, which is what I like to do. And I'm uh, I'm happy I can kind of you know kind of get back to doing that. One follow up: Have you had a opportunity to talk to Cam Jordan? Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I haven't got a chance to uh, meet with the guy. That is one thing I'm looking forward to. Not only Cam, but a lot of the guys in the locker room. Just getting a chance to get in there and uh, you know get a chance to mingle and meet a lot of the guys and and uh, you know get that camaraderie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. John Hendricks. Hey, Taco, obviously your time in Dallas, um, you were, worked a little bit with Chris Richard, and obviously he was a secondary coach, but just kind of talk about his impact. And now he's a co-defensive coordinator in Dennis Allen's scheme. Just kind of your impressions of, of are you surprised a bit that he's there and, and uh, you know, just kind of re reuniting with him a little bit? Uh, only surprise I have is just because he's such a great coach that he hasn't got a head job. Um, but I'm surprised that he's there. No, I mean, he's a great coach. Uh, he's passionate. Uh, you know, he, he, you know, he tries to get a lot out of his guys. Um, he brings it, you know, brings his passion to work and you, and you feel that, um, and a lot of, a lot of players want to play for a coach just like that. So I'm happy to be, you know, uh, you know, back with coach Bashar. He's a great coach, smart coach. Like I said, a very passionate coach. So, and like I said, a great, a, a, a familiar face that I, you know, that I had around in Dallas for, you know, for my time while I was there. Ross Jackson, you have anything? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Taco, you might have talked about this a, a little while ago, but uh, how big was Ryan Nielsen's uh, presence for you in terms of somebody that has a lot of experience as a defensive line coach that's now co-defensive coordinator for the New Orleans Saints? No, I mean, it's a lot. I mean, as you look in the past and you see what the history they've been able to have, you know, getting uh, you know good production out of their ends, as in, um, you know, Cam, of course, been doing it for a lot of years. Um, then you have... Uh, uh, I can't. Uh, Hendrickson uh, in 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 uh, with the Bengals, who obviously when he was here, he was doing a lot of great things. Um, so you see the the production and the uh, and uh, everything that he's able uh, to get out of is and, and get the best out of him. So I'm happy to be with a coach and and, and, a, and a system that uh, you know gets the best out of their out of their defense and the less of rush and less of get out after the passing. So thank you. Taco, do you know any guys on the Saints team that kind of were recruiting you here? Or? Um, me and TK was together in Kansas City, so uh, that's a familiar face in our defensive line room. Uh, that's one guy I can really just think of off the top of my head. Um, so that's a, that's a familiar face that uh, we had a good relationship and love to, you know, to pick back and forth of uh, – you pick each other's brains on different things uh, 
back when I was in KC. Anything else for Taco? Yeah, I got one I want to ask you about. Uh, Taco, did you were you in Kansas City with, with Alex Okafor at all? I was with AO. AO, that's my yeah, guy. Yeah. OG. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, AO, yeah. that's my guy. So uh, I was. I did get a chance to play with AO. Uh, great vet, um, ultimate pro. So uh, that's a, that's, that was, he was a great guy. Did you talk to him much about – have you talked to him since you signed I haven't yet. I, I haven't got a chance. I was talking to TK, but I haven't got a chance to reach out to AO, uh, to, you know, to kind of see. I know he, he, he was here for a couple of years and did some good things. So I haven't got a chance to really talk to him much to see, uh, you know, how he liked it. But uh, i definitely been checking in with some guys that's either from New Orleans or, you know, on the team about what's the go-to spots, uh, you know, to get some good food out there. What kind of recommend, recommendations did you get? Do you remember? Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting some, you know, a lot, you know, of course, uh, uh, a lot of, you know, seafood spots, you know, boiling, you know, boiling seafood spots out there. I know a lot of gumbos, you know, good spots to get some good gumbo. So, uh, I gotta read my text messages, but I got, you know, I got, I got some, got some good spots. I, I, I can get down uh, once I, once I land. I definitely uh, can go through the checklist uh, okay. for food spots. Hey, have you played in the in the dome before? Like maybe with. The- Cowboys, maybe, or um, I haven't got a chance to play in the dome, so this will be my first chance to actually get a chance to play in the dome. I think when we, when I was with uh, Dallas and we played them, they came to Dallas, so I haven't uh, got a chance to actually go to the dome and play there myself. What have you sort of just heard about it? And um, I'm oh, sure no, I've heard of all, nothing but great things just about just about not only the dome but just Saints fans in general, just how passionate they are, how how rowdy they get. How, how crazy the stadium goes and, uh, you know, how passionate they are about, you know, Saints football in New Orleans especially. So, um, like I said, I mean, I get, I'm in Dallas, so I get a little – still a little influence here. I still see people wearing New Orleans gear out here too. So, um, I, like I said, I know it spreads far. And, uh, matter of fact, I think my mom actually sent me a picture back home in Columbus and she found somebody wearing a Saints jacket. So, I see that the, the, the fans are everywhere. Okay, I wanted to ask you about that, man. It's kind of strange. You born in Columbus, but went to Michigan. How that work? How did it come about? <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, uh, you know, we had a couple guys do it before me, so it wasn't the craziest thing, but uh, it's definitely something we were we were doing to kind of uh, changing up a little bit. Uh, the good thing is, my my good friend Cares Levert, he actually left and went there the year right there before me, and uh, Trey Berg before that. So we were having a good, you know, crew. Cool, maybe they were basketball guys, but Columbus guys going to Michigan, uh, you know, and be successful. And what about all the Ohio State guys in the Saints locker room, man? You going to be able to get along with those guys? <laughs> hey, listen, we got the last win, so I get to talk my trash for the next uh, the next year, to the next year at least. So I'm uh, I'm going to feel good for this uh, while, while we're up at least. All right. Ross Jackson, do you have something? Yeah, one last thing. Thank you. Just wanted to follow up on that uh, that Michigan conversation. Actually, uh, Aiden Hutchinson, of course, a big draft prospect here. I don't know how much you've gotten to see of him and his time at Michigan here over the course of the season, but uh, have you gotten his look at him, and what are your thoughts on him so far? Oh, yeah, definitely impressed. Um, he gets after it. Uh, he has definitely a, a tenacity and, a, and an effort that's, uh, that's, that's up there. Um, you know, and I play with some great guys that, that bring that same, you know, will and effort every day, too. So I definitely see that in him. I think he's going to be a great player, uh, a lot of great gifts, of course. Um, you know, when you come to the leagues, the different leagues, so, you know, you got to learn, you got to adjust and keep improving, getting better. So we'll have that ahead of him. But uh, I'm excited to see what he can bring. I mean, I'm always excited, you know, for mi- more Michigan guys, more of us to get in here and do our thing. So always excited and uh, happy for him. One last thing for you two on that. Uh, but, you know, you came into the league in 2017. There's a couple of guys on the Saints defensive line that have been, you know, that are younger guys. What's some of the knowledge that you hope to be able to bring to them here over the course of this offseason? No, I was just trying to bring, you know, anything I can that, that, you know, they see that, you know, that I do that they like or can pick up off of, or, you know, I pick their brain, my brain, whatever it may be, or just things I've seen. I play with a lot of great players, a lot of good, you know, great defensive ends slash outside linebackers. Even last year, you can get a chance to, you know, play with TJ, uh, share the field with Melvin, you know, them guys. And then before that, the, the Frank Clarks or the Marcus Lawrence's of the world. So I've gotten a chance to play with some good ends and, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it see what it takes. So I definitely, um, like I said, I'm always a, a, a open ear and, you know, somebody that's I'm always, you know, willing to preach what I know and help the guys out on and off the field, either way it goes. Thank you. Anything else for Taco? All right, man. I think we're all set. Appreciate your time today. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Taco. Taco. Welcome to